<laughs> it's a conversation <laughs> with uh, Lorna you Wine name your son, on October 11th. <laughs> Or October 12th, 2019. Dad, how many months now? 10. There's more sympathy. All right, so, so, tell me, so tell me about, you, you said a little bit about Ulysses S. Grant Moore. How, do, like, what are some other things you remember about him? Uh, Diana, more soup? Oh, I, remember, I remember a lot of things about him. You remember a lot of things about him? He was a, he was a very independent man, but he was in charge. Would you he like more was, soup? Pardon? Would you like more soup? No, that's enough. Oh, Thank you. Could I have a little bit more soup, love? No, he was uh, he was his own person. Okay. Oh, he, he was, was very independent. Oh, extremely so. What's the but, date today? Can you? Do yeah, that? today, October twelfth, no, twenty nineteen. But he was a hard worker, and uh, but he believed in integrity. That yeah. Was his thing. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I remember when the first threshing machines came in here mm -hmm. and parked them right out here. Were they thrashing wheat? The wheat, and uh, then he had a, and another thing, and he had it made to put uh, to, for corn. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. His threshing machine, though, that was the biggie. Because well, I bet that was a big deal. People came from all around. To see the threshing uh, machine? To the, well, to see it, and he let people, he, my goodness, that man was a, a man who shared with his neighbors. You, if they needed something, he shared with them. He re he was. I'll say that to a lot. I just did a little. Yeah, right. I know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's changed a couple, a little bit over the last hundred years. Did, so, uh, and then your mother was, um, remind me who your, like, who, so Ulysses, parents. Uh, your parents were. Mother was number five down the line. Right. And Ormita, where was Ormita in, in that? And Ormita was number... Well, what, he was, he was next good. to the youngest. She, she was, was next, next to the youngest? She okay. Was next, oh, yeah. And Violet was the uh, and youngest. Then we had, and then we had... Yeah. Was uh, it mother, her mother, was Vivian in the middle? Oh, your mom was Vivian. I forgot that. Yeah. Yeah. Mother was in the middle. You know, Vivian is the was the... Oldest person I ever met in, in my no, like no, relative no, I, in my life. When I she, came out here, she was my great great aunt. There were three centurions mm -hmm. here. That's right. She was. Yeah. Three of them out here. Yeah. It was pretty amazing. It really was. Well, they all ate their own food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're absolutely food. right. Oh yeah. Well, I used to take lambs down to Vivian. Babe, she loved that, animals. Good for her. again. I'll get it ready. Okay. Are you recording? Yeah, I am. Um, hey guys. But you know the thing that I remember most about my yeah. grandfather was the fact his benevolence and how he associated with people in a community who needed help. And Granddad was always there. Granddad was always there. Straight grandfather. Yes. Yes. That's what people used to be. That era. Hmm. But they were close to that original agriculture era of where people harbored. Mm -hmm. And they gave, and they yeah. got back. Yeah. Until we introduced money. Yeah. And yeah. that became king. Mm -hmm. Pretty well ruined. Well, I don't know if you knew or not, but he owned as my granddad and his his father owned over a thousand acres in here at one time. Wow. And he it was you know they finally sold off for this and that. Yeah. But he had over a thousand acres. At one time, did Mr. Cox buy from him? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Who's and Mr. Your Cox? Place, your place was a part of this place originally, back in the way, way, way long yeah. time ago. Yeah. Well, but, 42 acres of it anyway. Yeah, well, it's it's over a thousand acres at that time. <clears throat> Down here past Basil McHenry's. It may have been. That little hill is called Cox Hill. Got it. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Cox owned my farm. Yes, at one time. Mm -hmm. And then Davis bought. So did Cox buy from Moore? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that's the oldest person out here. This is the oldest farm out here. Granddad inherited this mm -hmm. part of it from. Uh, Ulysses S. Grant, right? Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> no. But but he he inherited it from um, Arnold. Yeah, from the Arnolds, from uh, from England, Germany. From Germany to England, England and, and then to the United States. Mm -hmm. That's how it Nobody's going to hear that I will. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Oh. Got and Arnold was the first one out here, right? That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
He was the first one. I'm not sure. You know what I love is being able to go up on up to the cemetery and see everybody. You know, I think that's really that's really special, right? You know, to go up there. Yeah, you know that would be a that would be a mantra. That's for sure. That's for sure. Well, I get to go up there and see my grandma and my granddad, Grandma Lenore and Granddad Jack. I get to see. Um, my great grandparents, Jim and Romita, and then you know, uh, Ulysses and Sarah. Was it Sarah? Was his wife Sarah? Yeah, true. Yeah, and then Arnold and what was Arnold's uh, wife? What's Arnold's wife's name? Arnold Moore. Um, Mrs. Elizabeth. Mrs. No, Elizabeth. Her. Elizabeth. Was yeah. it Mrs. Arnold? Right. She was a school teacher, Sorry. as they both were back in England. Really? Oh, yeah. Both oh, of them had wow. been. And she settled over in, uh, uh, well, I forget oh, I, I, I forget the name of the place. And that's where he met her. And they. Uh, that's when they married. And then they got, came over into this area. And he bought a thousand acres. And we didn't buy it. It was he homesteaded. homesteaded. He homesteaded it. A thousand acres in here, yeah. Up there where Wyants lived. That was um, where, I mean, where that was part of this one. Where your where your where yours is. Allison Farrell has the wine farm. That's dirty word. <laughs> right, it is a dirty word. If she were here today, she'd be in little pieces. <laughs> Trust me. I can't wait to use that. Yeah. So, uh, wow. so the farm was pretty. It was pretty large. And did they have just? It was big. Yes, it was it big. Was. And they, did they have to hire people to help like work it? Oh yeah, and my granddad gave yeah. land, built a schoolhouse down here. That was his. The schoolhouse that we tore down just a little bit ago. Down, down there, that was his land. That was, and then the other boys came over from England. Yeah, and helped settle more of it, and that's when they went in. They went into big time business. That was, a thousand acres, a lot of land. Yeah, it is. I can I can't even walk. 300 acres That's in right. my, I mean, yeah. right? I've never I, walked on mine. You, I've never been on the same place more than once. I mean, you know, to be on every piece of your land is impossible. It's it's a lot. It's yeah. so much. Try to sign it. Yeah. <laughs> that church and schoolhouse that's up on the top of the hill here, that was once a part of this. Uh, so I don't know the church and schoolhouse. You mean up on, is that knob? It, uh, locust yeah. knob. Locust, locust, locust knob. knob up there. And Got here it. was the church, and then right out the ridge was the um, schoolhouse. And right. you could come, see, we used to ride horses yeah. up through here. Oh, I know, yeah. And, and then, you could go up, there was a black village back here called yeah. Rudkin. Rudkin. And you go up on the hill, and you can come out on sliding. Mm -hmm. It goes to either Sand Fork or back down right. here. Beautiful or Burnsville. Yeah. I remember really that. It was just. We used to run our horses through here and up that hill 100 miles an hour, Ruth and I. That was awesome. It was fun. It was fun. Remember that, Ruth? Mm -hmm. Well, they wanted to build a road up all the way up through here from here to the top of the hill where they were building a schoolhouse. Okay. And the, the people of Canfields wouldn't let them. They wouldn't let them put Well, there's a road through here. I don't know if it's, a, it's a road from here to Redkin. And... But they wouldn't let them open it. Oh, I see. Yeah, the state wouldn't open it and give them free access. Uh -huh. Well, they didn't, or so they built the church on out from the school right. House. Well, the, you have to go all the way around in order yeah, to get to uh, yeah, in order to get the, to to that. So when we when my when the when you guys all actually helped tear down the schoolhouse, there were pieces of lumber. I wish I was able to save more. That that's that were what were hand. That's right. That were hand carved into. It really was. And so I have a couple of those uh, boards in the barn. Your we mother, we saved some. We mom, saved some. And those yeah, were pieces from on this all. farm here. That, that was so she paid from the farm. Sure. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. I don't think. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm glad we we, didn't we know. yeah. I don't think we knew everything that was that was in there. That that those boards. It not only went that way. Yeah. It went that way. And on over to what they call Joe's Run. On Joe's Run. Way. Yeah. yeah. This way. And yeah. then it went this way in that direction. And it went up this way that it encompassed uh, the guy wine place that uh, 
up that way. Yeah. <laughs> they owned it all. They, granddad did. Of course, he homesteaded a lot of it from England. Wait, great granddad or great just granddad? Uh, well, this was granddad. it was from well granddad's. Oh well, from the. Um, Oh, shoot. It'd be oh. your great grandchildren. It'd be, be my great grandchildren. Yeah. It'd be your great granddad. My right. great granddad, yeah. But they yeah, were they married. Go back they were married from, yeah. uh, from school teachers in England. They, does does this make you uh, a daughter of the revolution? Are well, you a DAR person? Could I you be a DAR is. person? We would because, be. because by, um, by uh, Arnold's. Arnold Straley's or the Straley's. Christian and Christina, you know There's the Straley's at all? Yeah. Um, well, no, I'm related to Straley's. You are? Yes. Not related well, to the Straley's. Yeah. Straley. Well, I'm. <laughs> Well, see, I think you look like my relatives. <laughs> she was Australian, and she, they would she they met oh, over I, in the Lost Creek area. Where, where is that? Both of them school that? teachers from England, Germany, yeah. to uh, England, England, to the yeah. United States, no, no. Uh, and they settled over there. I have uh, the, the where, where's that gravesite? You remember Odie Lee down here, Goldsmith, mm -hmm. Leona, his Lee. sister. It's, What's, what's, uh, what's the uh, the couple of cities uh, above us that starts with an L? That that side of the family mm, is okay. I know who you mean. Yeah, I'm yeah. From know, Montauk, uh, yeah. On seventy nine. They yeah. settled over in Copen. There's a cabin. okay. And Those Australians. The Australians. Yes, they did. And then one of them, when I was a girl, they had a daughter my age. It's preserved. They were in Richwood and had a furniture store, two or three furniture stores, and a car dealership, and he had an airplane. Christian and Christine Australia. And he was not heard long He was Australian. And it was a so yeah. what, what are what well, are they, they were related, so, so they ought to leave us alone. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> right. What what's what are the cities right above, above us? Uh, north, on north on seventy nine. North on seventy nine. North on seventy nine. Well, the next place up's Weston. Okay, then. Well, there was Roanoke. Okay. Weston. Okay. They flooded Roanoke. Yeah. Weston. Jane Lou. Jane Lou. That's where Ruth's from. So Jane yeah. Lou. Had Straley's. Has Stra and yeah. there, well, is there is a grave site. There is a grave site on there called Christian and Christina Straley. Yeah. It's my. I'm. Your sixth it, grave. -grandmother. It's my sixth. Well, he. They're related to the Straley's we went to high school with. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're we're, mm -hmm. we're we're related to the Straley's through. Well, we. I am too. We're probably related. Wait, probably I'm related to you know, the Straley's. Yeah. We're all yeah. Related, the Straley's you know? were school teachers. Yeah. 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 They yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. We were, were school teachers. We were. I think we were related to the Straley's through the Moors. I think so. You are. Yeah. Absolutely. Ruthie, you were, you met my Straley relatives down at Pegs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Remember, they were over near Washington. Yeah. Right. Yes. Sure did. And the so, Straley's originated in, you know, from, from Germany. Germany for what? So. Yeah. To, to, to come to Peggy's and yes. that, there was a funeral. Was, That's uh, why they were so smart. Right. Germans were considered to be so a uh, we've, Have you been to the Christian and Christina Straley's gravesite at all in Jane Lou? Maybe, maybe when and now mother used mother used to take and dad used it, to go over to um, Jane Lou uh, some over in that area where grandma mm -hmm. was, began her school teaching career okay. from England. And that's where Granddad met her, and then brought her into the area. Got it. so the the Straley is through Sarah, right? Mm -hmm. Grandma Sarah, Sarah, right? Grandma Sarah was a Straley. Did you yes, ever hear of Buster yeah. Straley? I don't know the Buster. She Straley was one now. beautiful lady. Was she? I Jack? saw her pictures. Yeah, they used to hang on the wall in the old house up there. She was one beautiful oh, lady. Here? Mm -hmm. You guys have we some. Have those pictures. You have those pictures in Texas we have right all now. Pictures. We, well, yeah. I think we need to bring and them she, back. Mother there. said she was brilliant, brilliant lady, yeah, and she was musical sure. because she also, his daughter, went to Washington D.C. and sang for President for President Roosevelt. What? Oh, yes, she <laughs> what? did. Yes, she did. <laughs> what? Mother, what? mother had pictures, and when the house, the old house burned. It burned up some of the pictures. Yeah, she sang oh, wow. for the president. Yeah, yeah that's wow. so neat. <laughs> yeah. That is actually pretty cool. History is so cool. Yeah. You know, we should have those pictures. That was here. Anne. The yeah, you really so should. That'd, That'd be nice we, to have we here. Need to bring yeah, them we need to bring them back here. We need to bring them back. Mother said she had one of the most beautiful voices she ever heard, and she was personally invited by the president to come and sing at the White House at inauguration. Wow. Which so what president? Roosevelt. 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 That was Roosevelt. Well, 
What was her he name? He was a great president. Pardon? The, the daughter's <laughs> name. It's, it, it, um, it's a modern... Yeah. Way oh, shoot. Yeah. Now, it left me just like well, we that. Probably uh, we that. had pictures. We yeah. had a lot of pictures of her, and she was brilliant. Well, yeah. she sang with this felt harmonic at one time. Yes, yeah, she Philadelphia did. Philadelphia harmonic? I would love to know Yeah, she did. Was. Well, see, they sing. You know they're opera singers. Well, oh, she that, did. Yeah, yeah. Well, she was, too. she was, too. I wish y'all would sing us yeah. something. We'd want to hear you guys sing. That would be wonderful. I think here after dinner, it would be great if you would just sing us a song. Don't you think? I, I agree. Anne, Anne, Anne was her first name. Anne, and she used, she used to travel. And that was before women traveled. We'll but, and she had to travel with an escort. Oh, really? For protection. Oh, yes. That yeah. Would make sense, Mother yeah. said she was absolutely brilliant. Anne was her first name. Yeah. And what was her last really name? Could join. Well, she had been, they were Australians. Probably not on anything. Right. They were Australians. Well, and, uh, and she had studied at, uh, overseas before she came to America. Really? And, but she was very young. Mother said she was young at the time. See, this is the thing about people this age. I think it's fantastic. That they know everything. Yeah, oh, I yeah, think it's they, deserve, they deserve tremendous respect. I think it's fantastic. Oh, yeah. I'll never hear it again. Well, well I, I didn't realize this. Who knows this. any of this? I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't realize this. She's a walking this. encyclopedia. Uh, our, our, our ancestors are highly musical. They were all highly musical. <laughs> But when she sang for the president, Mother said that that was the highlight of the life of everyone in this area. Well, of course it would be. The fact that she sang. And she had pictures, but when I said when the old house burned, why they lost the a lot of the pictures. Yeah, but I bet you there's other pictures. Yeah, her name was Anne. With yeah. uh, during Anne Straley. Anne yeah. Straley. I'm going to check my history. I'm going to check my history. Yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm going to check my history about Anne so Straley. Mean. That is that interesting. Cool? It is very interesting. I wish I had some of the booklets and stuff that they that burned. Yeah. And, uh, so what, how, what what house burned? Was it Ormita's house or what 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 what, what well, are house? It was the old to... log house that the it set stood right up on the bank, and uh, it okay. was made out of timber okay, from so we... this everybody's house farm. would be old, <laughs> right? Yeah. Back right. then, right. I mean, your house would be log, right? Then. So it it would Same be before timber. your house. Oh yeah. yeah, there was a log house on my farm. God, I was told that home. it was burned right during the Civil War. I was told that because we were hiding slaves up there, that they burnt the house down for retaliation. They would, be, they would do that. Is it, do you agree with that, or? They also had a naked swimming hole up there too. Well, and, on her farm. <laughs> <laughs> See, well, that's that's that, where you guys right. <laughs> My mother would tell about that, and she would just crack up because the man Davis that owned her place before. <laughs> <laughs> they would so, Wait, someone was this within a naked the male group. Was just, they all swam naked. Nickel. These men, uh -huh. and uh, they I heard would, a few women did too sometimes. Well, that was another story. Because <laughs> <laughs> they'd have guards, because the men had went naked and all, and they'd have guards stand, you know, and they'd give signals whenever <laughs> someone, somebody come by. Oh, land, yes, my brothers were. After they got up some side, they went in naked too. <laughs> they they the story of the guy that built my house, uh -huh. the yeah. one that's there now. Yeah. Yep. Every March, break a spring was coming on. He'd strip and jump in that hole. <laughs> yep. It was a yep. yearly. It was an annual. That's the so, way they celebrated. Right. Right. That's right. That's now that house said had. They always swam in that neck hole, and they always took their salt shaker and their ivory soap. The ivory soap did not sink. It would float. Mm -hmm. and, and the, the salt, salt for the leeches. For the leeches. <laughs> oh, good heavens. And so... We didn't said, have any leeches lately. Well... Mm -hmm. I mean, the ones that live around here. Last, last, <laughs> two years ago, the cousins got leeches when they were in the river. But, but they may, but we got them up actually by our creek, not by that, the, by not by creek. not that by, by her place. Creek, but it was still not that far from yours. It's usually in a real slow place. Yeah. It is, yeah. That's where they, we that's got, where it. They got it. Yeah. But Bob said, "Teeny, teeny, teeny one." Right <laughs> up there. Yeah. Armida would have him. He would stay here for the summer, and he would have to put up hay, and that was terrible. The way they had to put it up high and stomp it down, mm -hmm. and he got hay all over it. It would itch real bad, so they all had to go get the hay off. See, when I was running that call, took their assault with them. When I was running the B and B. 
<clears throat> we did things like that over here to show people. Ruthie and Kenneth Yeomans <laughs> made a haystack mm -hmm. in, on that field right below the road as you come up the hill mm -hmm. called the Hilly Meadow. They made a haystack in there because she made them as a child. I made them as a child. And of course, Kenneth made him as a child. Has he played? But we, we quickly yeah, had he's we quickly he's had machinery. My dad did. Her dad, not. They made haystacks for years. <coughs> and farmed with horses. <coughs> they farmed with horses. Wow. <coughs> but Ruthie used to ride up on a, a back of a horse <coughs> while her dad would run the machinery on the horse. The horse was pulling. Well, she yeah. ride well, on the old horse. <laughs> little <laughs> legs like this. <laughs> yeah, when we, uh, we we put out a separate potato patch, which was huge, and uh, so you, you had a plow that you like you saw in Little House on the Prairie. Mm -hmm. yeah. It had that plow in the back, and Dad would throw me up on the horse, mm -hmm. and and I was probably four or so, something like that. Of course, my unless she said her little legs. I got a like picture this. somewhere. My little legs were those spread horses out. Were big. You had the hands <laughs> on there, and you had. Held on to those, and it was rocking all the time, and Dad plowed out all the potatoes. And did he really think that you were leading the horse? No. No, I no, 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 no. I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just eating. Yeah. We were having fun. Oh, she was just having fun. Can't you know how big Candyman is. You've been yeah. on him. Yeah. Yeah. This horse would be either. twice as large as Candyman. With legs this big. Sure. Were they work horses? Yeah. Yeah. Work yeah. horses. Yeah. Big work big horses. Big yeah. horses. Work horses, yeah. But now... <clears throat> My brother and I, we had two two of those big old work horses, and we went riding on the horses. We didn't have saddled, saddles or anything, but we had halters to put on. And so we took off running, riding the horses across the field, and little old smart me, I had a cat gun. Are you familiar with one? No. Oh, What's when you're little, you fire a cat? Oh, yeah. oh yeah. cat yeah. gun, cat yeah. gun, yeah. cat yeah. gun, yeah. yeah. you had a little... Roll, oh, red yeah, roll when you so stuck it in the those gun. Yeah. Fun. We all had them. And every time yeah. you shot it, yeah. they come rolling out. And it smoked too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I but... was shooting my cap gun, and man, that horse on took, horseback <laughs> took <laughs> off 90 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were heading straight for a fence, and it was like, but the horse is the smarter than I stopped. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but uh, my brother got killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Wore a gun and holster, you know. I, I was, did too. And a cowboy. Ruthie hat. and I have pictures. We didn't yeah. know each other as children. Uh -huh. But Ruthie and I have pictures as little kids. We're in white spanky pants mm -hmm. and holsters with two guns, no shoes, no shirt. <laughs> I just go. Standing like this. <laughs> she has the same posture and everything as I did. We lived miles away. From oh, each other. That's hilarious. And, and had no, I didn't know each other. And there's another picture. <laughs> yeah. And my cousins, that we went to visit them, they had all of the cowboy paraphernalia. Oh, yeah. Everything. I had it all, too. holsters. Yes. Oh, yeah. They had everything. I mean, that was just very popular in the 50s. They yeah. have a picture of me in an old sombrero. There again, <laughs> no shirt, just a spanky. They called them spanky pants. You remember those white cotton pants? That I don't people? know. Yeah, my, oh. mother, my mother used to get angry because we'd go over there and get on those sick rocks in front of that church. Which is panties and with your spankies and right. down those rocks. Right. <laughs> oh, we got they weren't trouble. white any longer. <laughs> but we always had holsters and that yeah. stuff. I didn't well, like we, dolls. We each had showed each other a picture when we, we were had, little. Had a cowboy hat on. We were dressed our, the same. And our little panties on and, and our hold, guns holding a teddy bear. We were holding. We well, one of them I had a cat and it okay. was clear well, to the, was my shoes. Bear. That yeah. cat was <clears throat> all the way down my body. Mm -hmm. all, all girls, young, small kids had cats. Cats and dogs. Cats and dogs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you had, and you had cats and dogs? Animal. Oh, everybody had, had one. I, and we all yeah, had everybody had teddy bears. Most all of us had horses. Yeah, Mostly, really? I, I had a racehorse when I was I, a kid. I have a psychologist. Really? Oh, yeah. Really she ran the tracks in North Carolina. I haven't thought too much about Absolutely. it, but I had a bear I loved named Jimmy. She was one of the he most beautiful fight. animals I ever saw. She was. Yeah. She only weighed 860 yeah. pounds. When I was six, and I, I had her for a long her. time until and where until she her. she got hurt on the track. She Did was a she? sulky, yeah. and she injured her knee. The so then my cousin, Dad's cousin, yeah. 
said that if I wanted her, they'd bring her, bring her to here, North Carolina yeah, to me, injured. and they Why did. did. On everything. She got okay, and by then I had her for eleven years. Wow! So you rode around all this area oh, with, yes. that, on that your horse. Like, I'd ride her on the hill and get the cows in. It's like oh, it's yes. like it's like the the. the but you she know. was a racehorse. I still got the picture. Yeah. I, my husband carried it all, all over the South Pacific. <laughs> That was the, his pride and joy. That, that was his motivation to come home? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've still got it. It's up there on the dresser. Like to that. That. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful horse. horse. She was beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that everybody had horses <laughs> like that back I then. I had horses. Yeah. You had horses? Oh, everybody had horses. Had horses horses and ponies, yeah. yeah. Who did? That was your form I mean, of transportation. Well, right. That's right. right. Think about I mean, when I, that's just so. That's just so foreign oh, to. Well, it was cowboy and Indian era. They were horse trails. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When I first came here, none of those roads. Were Indian there. Ford was a wagon. Right. right. Whenever I talked to Jean, though, he just says he walked everywhere. Well, Absolutely. he was a little bit younger. <laughs> right. She was. Okay. Right. How much older are you and Jean? Like fourteen or fifteen years? How's what? How, How much older are you than Jean? Oh, my land, Jean was the youngest. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I was, uh, uh, oh, my golly. We were several years. Were you closer to my, were you older than my granddad, than Granddad Jack, or younger than Granddad Jack? Oh, well, let me, I lived here. My mom and dad lived here for Grandma and Granddad because Dad worked, Granddad worked the farm, see? Right, no, but my, my grandfather, Jack, yeah. uh, Jack and Lenore. Jack and Lenore, were you older than Jack or younger oh, than yeah, Jack? Yeah, I was just, I, well, I was just about, uh, oh, see, I was about not quite two years. Older difference. than Jack? Yeah, yeah, and then Betty was younger. Right. Than we were. And Max yeah. and Max, Jimmy. Max was pretty close. I took care of uh, Jimmy and... Uh, when he had polio, right, and I was a senior in high school, and I was under quarantine because he had polio. Uh, because he American was in an iron young, yeah, he oh. had not polio, polio vaccination. <coughs> Ruth and I got the first polio vaccination. Really? And mm-hmm. you probably did too, right? Yeah, I got a big old shot. And you were said, you were behind us. us. Because you don't want to be crippled like me. Oh, we had kids in our class that were crippled. That was like really? 1955. In the 50, 55 when they she shot us. She did not have polio, but... Jimmy was she, only the third yeah, case of polio we were, in the area. Really? 55. Yeah. I was <laughs> yeah. Six. No problem. You want some more water? <coughs> I don't know. Can yeah, I get you some more water? First or second grade, so we got polio. Because <coughs> he was born in 1950. <coughs> yeah, I'm 49. Yeah. So, um, yeah. You all right? <coughs> oh, I just get the cough, and you know how it is. I know. Do you have some water there you can drink? <coughs> oh, Re- gee, recall it. Recall Yeah, we get smallpox at the same time. Right around the same time. Because that's a. Uh, yeah. Are you done? The okay. Thing we Are have. you finished? Thank you. This oh, is yes, okay. I, Thank yeah, you. I would Small pet pack. that <coughs> that scab came up. There. Yeah. <coughs> oh, it's huge. Yeah. And it bothered me to death. I pet it and pet it and pet it. Mom said, "Quit touching yeah. that scab." Mm. Because it was just half an inch. And I was going to say about the size of a penny. Yeah. And then we had terrible yeah. chicken pox and measles as children. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, all of us. No. But it wasn't a big deal. Yeah. I mean, we all lived through it. Well, no, I, I so my mom was in the hospital. And, um, my, I was picking my sores, and my mom was mad that my grandma had me. Everybody did. So yeah. because you're so miserable, and she made her put mittens and take them on me. But you still, you still. No, that was bad when Jimmy had polio because we were under quarantine. I was senior in high school, and Aunt Omita had to go to go to uh, what is that? Wheeling, and to be with Let him in an iron lung where he had to stand up. Uh, and uh, that is I went to, to me the house. It's like a red leaf lettuce. I couldn't recognize <clears> it. <throat> And I know I was under quarantine, and I would, but I went over to house and stayed with the woman that took care of him while he was while they were gone. And uh, my the, the uh, teacher that she had, Mr. Wells. That's the one that I, stayed at my house. Yeah. Over there. Mm-hmm. And uh, 
They would uh, bring my homework to me from the high school and put them on the steps down to bottom because I wasn't allowed to be in touch. And there was, uh, there was Max, uh, Steve, and Betty, and Jack, the three kids that we were ta- the, the, the lady and I were taking care of them. And, uh, and for, I think, about six weeks, six weeks is when she stayed at the hospital, Anna wow. Almeida. And they'd put their my lessons at the, on the steps down at the foot of the hill. And uh, then I'd have to do my ho- homework, put them back on the steps the next morning. We did that for six weeks. Wow. Because we were under quarantine. Wow. It was rough. Jack was the oldest, mm-hmm. and Betty, yes. and then Max. I remember you said you took care of Gene with his diapers and everything. And I, I was not, we weren't allowed to have any contact with anyone outside the, uh, outside Aunt Armita's house. Up on, up on here. Don't keep talking. No, no, it's fine. It's unreal. Of course, back then, they weren't expected to live if you had polio. Right. Oh, yeah, it was a... What, what, did he almost not die? But you know, well, yeah, it was it was uh, lethal to have polio. Oh and my if, land! If you didn't die, you were crippled. And he was in an iron lung for that. Six you, long. you were in an iron lung. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Have you ever seen an iron lung? No. Oh, uh, you'd see them laying huge. in there, just their heads just sticking out. Sticking out. And it was yeah. just a major round. Looks like a submarine on your body. Wow. And they forced air. And it did like this. Uh huh. Inside. Wow. And he fed. They fed him through the our lung because yeah. they weren't allowed to have him out out of it. Yeah, that was awful. Mm-hmm. But we got through it with him. But the bless. He was handicapped. Jimmy was handicapped all his life. Was he? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And then he had a tractor accident over here. In the oh, yeah. yeah. And that's Debbie Ellison's dad. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm interested about this the Straley connection. I didn't Me too. Good grief. <laughs> we ought to get Charlie in here. He could tell you a bunch well, of Well, that, my, my Straley's were lived on Copen. Did you know any Straley's on in Copen? Yeah, I know about Copen. I know some people who lived at Copen. Did you have any relatives there? Mm-hmm. Well <laughs> Hello, Aunt Lorna. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. I, I remember when we were we would And the train used to run down there. Oh yeah. yeah. All these houses in all these little towns and she knew everybody. Yeah. And she'd say, That's a, this person and they do this and this person and this person relates to you. They that still person. do that. But no, she dear. knew everybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. From all the different houses were coming in here. Yeah, you would. And they would talk about everybody. Oh, we went to school with them and Well, because they People came from miles around to one school. That's right. When San Fork High School, I've got pictures of those kids over there. You might want to see from the 1900s. Mm-hmm. Some of your relatives are in those pictures, and some of your relatives are in those pictures. I took those down for Cliff to look at a long time ago. So I think he'd had his stroke then, and he wasn't. And his vision was getting right. worse, yeah. too. Yeah. His vision was getting worse also. Well, in some of those old photos, the pictures are fading and they're mm-hmm. not very clear on the These faces. are pretty good. They're pretty good. I have some pictures of Sand Fork in the day, turn the century, all that huge oil stuff over there. This little, this little valley here when I was growing up, it was very vital. It was a very vital area. And, uh, that's what Nelson used to talk about. He used to talk about how it would have been back in the yeah, day. That's true. Well, San Fork is a big coal mine. And he place. used to talk about, well, Gilmer Station was. Yeah. But he used to talk about how Jesse Hughes, the Indian, uh, what was it, Indian uh, scout, mm-hmm. came across this ridge right here above Indian Fork. And he knew all the West Virginia history. And he, really? said, he said, Jesse Hughes, the Indian scout, crossed this ridge. That would be the ridge above Neck Hall on my place. Okay. And come over here above the church. Well, strangely enough, right up here on the top of the yeah, hill. Who is was Jesse a, Hughes? A, I don't know. He was a West Virginia Stronghold. Indian scout. Yeah. Okay. okay. They had they had a they had a uh, revolutionary. Uh, oh, why is it? Well, they had a revolutionary station mm-hmm. up here, right on the top of the hill where the church mm-hmm. is. Really? Uh, That's where they built the church. 
They built it on the Revolutionary Station place. We need to write this down, Lorna. Oh, I tell you. You've got all the history, and you're the only one left that does. Gee, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's true. Well, <laughs> when Allison gets through with me, I won't even have that. <laughs> She'll question everything. Oh, good. Well, now that we're related, maybe they'll leave me alone. <laughs> really and truly, though, uh, for a long, long time, after I was in my teens, nice. the, the uh, place up on Wait. the top of the hill there where my grandf other grandfather lived, I mean, you could just look out over that whole valley. And they, but it was a station for the revolutionary soldiers. That's where the black cemetery is. Right, right. right. She's talking about up here where we yeah. used to ride the, the horses black cemetery. down past Jeans yes. and up over the hill. Yes. Up through there to the church. Uh huh. Going through that on that ridge. Yeah. Going through there is yeah. what she's talking about. It was where revolutionary. Uh, but you could uh, see all, all the valley from up there. They, yeah. They, all the way around. Yeah. You can't now because of the timber. All right. <laughs> But when, the leaves all... are, but when the leaves are off, you can see a yeah. big distance. One reason Ruthie and I long flat yes. road out. One oh, reason, that was wonderful. One road. reason Ruthie and I galloped through there, where well, there are caves up there everywhere. That's right. The great black <clears throat> graves, children, babies. Yeah. And Wait. There's four right there. There are over graves here. too. Okay. <laughs> I, I said caves. Yeah. Hey. Um, she misunderstood <clears throat> me. But there are a lot of caves. Caves in the rocks up there, and that's why they like the soldiers were were with that bed in there. Yeah, well, Watch we always thought family. something would come out of there, and we would just haul it through there. <laughs> right but in the we valley. Were, we Is that where the bears up? come from? I think the maybe some of the bears. Yeah. Bears? We you think bears are up there in the caves? Oh, this has horses. a history like so you wouldn't long believe. Long still, and we couldn't get them to move, and they kept looking. <clears throat> over in the rock area. I remember that. And they just stood there and kept Your horses? Watching. No, yes. our horses. And they, we, we, and we had been like, running and they were like, <laughs> and they're like this. And ears twitching and we're yeah. like, and so we we turn, did you turn around or did you make well, them out we, there? No, we, we finally, we take them in a circle. Take them in a circle, circle till they get something else on their mind. Their way out and then you inch. And then when you get past, You know, that's why I hate the thoughts of the big, the old church being torn down. What, the other church, oh, that the other church awesome. burned, but then when they rebuilt this back in the in the eighteen hundreds, I said, it just breaks my heart to think of this this one going as the last bastion of the of the ancient times. Mm -hmm. Because when it's gone, it's gone. There's yeah, that's why I don't want it to go. I want to keep it as a chapel. That's I don't right. Want it to go either. Well, I had some people approach me, and I told Lorna about this approached me about my farm to put in what we were talking about um, and do some holistic healing and those kinds of things. But this woman, she's in her 40s. She's from Washington, Seattle. Yeah. She, but she's originally from West Virginia. She went oh. out there and went to graduate school okay. and her undergraduate school too. But interestingly enough, when I worked in West Virginia in psychology, uh -huh. I worked with her dad. Oh. I remember when she was born. <laughs> when she came yeah. to my house and repeated her last name, I said, "Well, I knew one of you I knew some of them. Some of them, and, 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 and I said, uh, "Where? Who, who are you? Who, what's your dad's name?" Yeah. She said, "Mike O'Dell." I said, "Good Lord!" When I, <laughs> I, when I worked at UHC United mm -hmm. Hospital on the mm -hmm. psych unit, I worked with her dad. And I remember when she was born because she was a big gift to them uh, because they couldn't have children. Oh. So wow. when Small she came world. along, it was like, I mean, her mother was a Small horrible world. diabetic. Um, but they finally had that little baby and they were so happy. All these younger people here don't know about the traveling um, women who went around delivered all the babies. Golly, they never saw a doctor. They had midwives here. Yeah, they yeah. had midwives. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. And, and they knew what they were doing. Oh, yeah. They just traveled around. Still a good way to have a baby. Yeah. I had a midwife with Have her. Have a dura. Oh, it's unreal. Okay. Or dura, dura. Doula. Doula. We had a doula with... Well, a doula. Or a dura. I yeah. had a doula with Tristan. And, and a midwife, midwife with Mary. Yeah. yeah. I'll bet you, I'll bet you, uh, uh, your granddads and, and all of them, they all had midwives because they, they didn't did. have any doctors, mm -hmm. you know. Well, now, my mother, I found this out later. Doctor. My mother was delivered by Bob Butcher's father in Cedarville on horseback. He went up to my great grandmother's property and delivered my mother. He he arrived on horse wow. and delivered my mother in Cedarville, over in the other part of the county. 
So my ancestors are from this county too. Wow. And uh, that's where these Straleys came from. Yeah, I know it is. The yeah, government Jane wouldn't allow you to do that anymore yeah. because your hands yeah, wouldn't be right, right, right. Well, we both were the straight up. Unbelievable. Straight up. His dad was a barber. I yeah, can't remember the, these Straley's names, but they were in uh, right over here in Copen by Gilmer Station. And I remember their kids, but and then my their grandkids were my age. Married a man named Straley. Oh dear. Well, <laughs> mm. you'd still been here, Sue. So you'd still be here having this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> but see, my my house, uh, the history on my house and Mr. Davis over there was they had the first Delco plant. And it's in yeah, my, it, it was where Delco my goose batteries. house is. Mm -hmm. And the first refrigerator. The first refrigerator. Mm -hmm. You remember this when you were little. Oh, oh yeah. Delco Power. plant. And Delco. you just pull a thing and the house would light up. It's like mm -hmm. Delco batteries. Yeah. Oh, a, it was a and, Delco electric plant. Yeah. In that. Oh, yes, and you said they had the first electricity. They did. And yeah. people rode their horses or came in a wagon to see that house lit up. And... And then they also had the first refrigeration. Mm -hmm. and so ice. kids would come and people would come to get ice, to, to taste ice. And That's the first ice cream I ever ate. <laughs> That's true. Is that her place? With the, yeah. Delco, with the Delco plant. Yeah. Tell them about Mr. Davis when you were in school, how you used to walk three miles to... Yeah, from where, where the old Arrow House is now up to where her place is. And <clears throat> the war was on, Second World War, and my mother was at home by herself. She had, she would, the boys were gone to war, dad was gone, and uh, I would, we had animals, and we had to feed our animals. So I, I would leave uh, before daylight in the morning up there, and... Uh, so your dad was in the war? Two? Which war? Second World War, war one. Your dad, he, I th but was, and your husband was in World War Two. He was forty-five years old, and he was in one year beyond. Uh, he was in anyway. Drafting. They took him anyway. They took everybody. But wow. they made. But the government notified him that he would have to continue drilling for oil and gas in these big old-fashioned wells. Yeah. And uh, and he he was away from home a lot, so I would walk from the old place up there with a flashlight. And I walked down to that second bridge that's down there, which was three and four tenths miles. Okay. <laughs> and uh, get the bus, because only one bus ran. And I put my my uh, flashlight in Mr. Davis's um, mailbox. Mailbox of a morning when I went down because it was still dark. And they slept on the porch outside. And on Mr. that upper porch upper in the porch, summer. Mr. Davis would come in, would get up in the morning before daylight and go down to the mailbox to see if my flashlight was in the mailbox. And if so, in the evening when the bus would bring me back to that bus stop down, down this there, way, then um, he, the, he would, he would uh, know that my light was still in the box while he would get on his horse and ride it that about three and four tenths miles down, down the, the road, sand and I road. walked up, and he'd get, they'd get my flashlight, and he'd walk me on up to mom, to the house <laughs> where I could feed the animals for. Wow, me. that is special. And it was daylight, or he it was, was not nice daylight yet. Yeah. He was a nice guy. Yeah. He was yeah, a really he, good he, guy, he, huh? He had the first automobile out here, and her mother was bitten by a copperhead or a rattlesnake in yeah. the hollow there, and he took her down to Weston to the hospital really? where she would have died. But I'd pick up my my um, flashlight again out of the box, out of the mail, their mailbox. Yeah. Go on home, feed me out my the horses and cattle and sheep, and go on up to mother, up to the house. And that next morning, it's the same routine over. And then go back and get on the bus. What grade were you in? I was I was in my second year of. Um, uh, well, I was the grade in second, my sophomore year. Second oh. year of high school. And high then, school. Uh huh. My so there was yeah. a sophomore. So when did you meet uh, um, Cl uh, Cliff? Yeah. When we were yes. uh, when we were sixteen years old. Okay, and so then he went off to war. The, well, the war had, was not over, and he was in for two more years Got after it. after that. Yeah, and my brothers didn't get home until after that. They were in there longer than he was in there. So how old were you when you got married? Pardon? How old were you when you got married? When I got married? Yeah. How old? Uh, how old I was, what? I just turned 19. I just 19. 19. 
just turned 19. Mm -hmm. That was know. typical. But I've been working. Got married, that was 70 yeah. some years ago. 71. She was married 70 some mm -hmm. years. 71 years. And and I would. Um, uh, you were married 70. I had to years? keep. <laughs> 91 years. No, you're no. 70. No, no. How old was I? I can't remember. 71 years. My, my mom's like, how do you make it that? That's, that's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> my first year, she was married, I what, 20-something? Like 20 20 years. years. Huh? I, I think that's a long them. time. <laughs> <laughs> but I fed and took I'm care of my mom. And, didn't know it. <laughs> but, I, but I took care of my mom yes. and all the animals <laughs> on the farm until, uh, until my brother's and uh, came your dad, back from the war. Right. Yeah. And your dad came back sooner, right? No, my dad. My dad had to drill about. He drilled about four years after because to replenish the oil and gas. Got it. That was and the you. government gave him a ration to drill mm -hmm. with oil and gas, gas because they needed here. it for the military. Got it. So that's why we gas didn't get rations. the same very often. And of course, he couldn't be at home. But uh, the prosecuting attorney there in. Uh, Huff? Gilmer, Gilmer County, Huff, when, when they met her, he met her, he said he was familiar with Guy and Vivian Mick. They were pillars of Gilmer County. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really good citizens of Gilmer That's County. That's cool. Yeah, that was That's cool. It, that was really neat. Do you remember him saying that to you? He worked, well, he, he wasn't a soldier as such, but he was a soldier in drilling for oil and gas. Right. And then and he didn't have an automobile either. He just went around by horse. He was no, just a good guy. He would know. He would. They would. They would send a truck. Okay, to come pick him up. And they get ration gas. He has. They. They had Everything slips of rations. gas rations. I saw some of that up in Cliff's office. You had those gas ration slips from mm -hmm. World War II. And I walked that route for four years, mm -hmm. all my college or my high school years. Her mother used to ride a cow. Yes, she did. <laughs> She did. That's right. She oh, did. Uh, right over here at the church. They had an underpass. And they, she'd ride that cow underneath the underpass because there's water down here. <laughs> and they she, lived right and she there. told me, she said, I stood up on this rock. And when my cow would pass, I would jump on it because I wasn't tall enough to jump on it. So I would jump <laughs> off the rock on its back and ride it. <laughs> just, that's Golly, just these, young people, have these young people have never this lived. This cow was really lived for a war. Yeah, well, I hope we don't do that. <laughs> God, I Morning. Know what we're going to do with the this other current. day you were telling me about the Not getting the gas rations, and you were telling me how, I, I guess it was your dad had a little bit of gas and a truck, and then a whole bunch of people would pile into that one truck, and they'd go to the movies or that's when you went or to the whenever movies. you oh, went. Yeah. Just yeah. however that's many the only could pile in there, we had, had no any gas. Tell tell him about tell them about that that truck and uh, Max Marshall and and when y'all oh, went. Yeah, well, they they furnished Dad with a uh, pickup truck to haul the tanks some to where when the government would have to have say. Uh, so much gas, then the, he, he could have the truck to put the gas in and take it and deliver. Well, the other driller uh, that D Dad worked with for the government, um, he got to have the truck more than Dad did. So uh, this other driller could drive the truck and he could have the ration gas. So the only way we kids could go to a ball game basketball game was dad would let us have the gasoline and, and Mr. Marshall would let us have the truck. Sure, I can't say. <laughs> and we oh, would wow. load those vehicles up till they couldn't, you couldn't load anymore and they would go to the ball games. <laughs> that was our entertainment. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that was... That was just about the, the way we truck. lived. That was all the entertainment mm -hmm. yeah. we had. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, life was... Who's Max Marshall? I don't the, know. Max Marshall was head of the... When I moved here Department in 91, he was head of Department of Highways. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. And he died... For, for Gilmer Yes, County? and he okay. died in his 50s because he came to my house... Fairly often to talk. Yes. You said he died because he came to my house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you meant. No. <laughs> yeah, but I remember, no, I remember Ruthie came out there, was out there at the time, and I said to Ruthie, he was out there one day, mm -hmm. and he was so stressed because that's such a stressful job here. 
And his eyes were great big and they were all bloodshot, oh, about like mine were at the thing yesterday. Mm -hmm. And Poppy, and I said, you know, that man's not going to live a year under this stress. And he was dead, what, two what, months later? Two months later, of a he heart was attack. Gone. Wow. He was a really nice guy. Why was he so stressed? He was though? probably six, 60, but he was younger than retirement. He, yeah. was, mm -hmm. he was Bud Spore's age, wasn't he? Yeah. So Bud was working on my house over there. And so he was about yeah, 60, was Bud. 64 or something like that. And Max was Bud's He was friend. a little, little chunky. Max or Bud? Max. 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 Bud was yeah. really well built. And uh, everybody I'd thought Bud and I were having an affair. There's another one. <laughs> I, I yeah. was 40, 40 and... Bud was 60. 66 or something. <laughs> and you know, ironically, the kid, kids would never do this today, but it's when I put my ma my flashlight in Mr. Davis. Davis's um, mailbox, and it would stay there until evening, and it would be getting dark. And this Mr. Davis would get on his horse. Mm -hmm. she, she was a big perchin. She was a beautiful animal. Perchin. And he'd get on his horse, and he'd go out and stand by the mailbox till I came along, and mm -hmm. it was it was I say dark, and uh, he'd ride with me on up home, on up to the house, and uh, he'd help me feed the animals, and we did this for a whole winter now, snow, rain, whatever. So he's helping do everything. Oh, then. but he but he said that he was my bodyguard. He was because, a very nice man. There was a yes. man out here that was. Was it dangerous ever out here though? Yeah. Well, at one point there was a guy that was fooling oh, around with girls. Okay. Uh, so that's why he was trying to protect what, what you. What are they doing? Right, right. Boys. And then in the evening, when I would on? be coming back, it would be getting dark, and he would get back on Barry, Barry his horse, mm -hmm. and take me on up home and help me. Help me you feed the animals yeah. until I got back home. And I did that for a whole winter. Wow. And I tell you, that was rough. Because I, I was winter, afraid of yeah. yeah. In the was. dark, walking Diana's on got a uh, picture over at the house, and you all may have seen it already. Of, I think it was, was it Diana, shortly after the house was built over there? My house was built in 1905. Had, right. They had all these people there and big big uh, oh, yeah. tables out in the well, yard. And it was on the front for course. an anniversary they, Well, it something. was in May because there were peonies on the table. Those, yeah. And I have the same peonies because I've cultivated them back. They're mm -hmm. the original perennials from over there. Are these the, the, the long skinny ones? Well, they just go up and have a beautiful big pink no, flower. Peonies, right. oh, okay. They're usually out at Memorial Day. They're a lot of old people the used them on the, on the uh, graves and such. The Make reason Mr. Davis peonies. and Mr. Cox used to ride their horses one on one end when the bus stopped and back up on their end when the bus when I got home it's because <clears throat> a man had raped a little 14 year old girl along on the on that road mm -hmm. and these two men for one whole winter would ride their horses twice wow. a day mm -hmm. and, and for the guarding me because mm -hmm. I was the only female on the road but I had to take care mm -hmm. of mom and them I wouldn't wish it on anybody today because it was a bad scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But this little fourteen-year-old girl, she later died. She didn't. She didn't she, survive it. She couldn't survive it. Uh -uh. Oh wow! And they and they rode for me. Did, Did they, they ever catch that guy? Oh yeah, he was executed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That he was. <laughs> he was. They did. Well, he was, good. He, they shot him. He was a military. <laughs> they and he was wow. shot. <laughs> yeah, he was. It's a little and, bit different uh, than. But yeah. it was here. <laughs> probably do that to here. Yeah. So, so you, uh, I, 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 you said something interesting. Like back in the day, this valley was very important and very vibrant. Yeah. So what? Ha why did it, it? It doesn't seem like it's kept up the end with of other other areas. In the beginning of uh, the it was a result age of the war. It was yeah. a result of the war. Okay. People started leaving the area and going to the towns and cities during the war mm -hmm. for military purposes. Got it. And they never came back. Got it. Okay. But they they also never came couldn't back. get jobs. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was, was the end of the agriculture era. He wanted to stay here, but he That's couldn't right. get a good paying job. So there were we went into manufacturing in the city. Several right. rosy riveters from here that went to the uh, the places where they make air manufacturing places for airplanes, well, and they went there to work because the the men were all exactly. gone. West so. Virginia had a lot of has had a lot of famous people. You have no idea how many. And many of these from young here. men know, were still. I, it's a good place. I'm from. Still no. No, I know, but you know, Jaeger <laughs> Airport. Yeah. You know about Jaeger, right? I don't know about Jaeger. You know about Jaeger. 
That oh, was where yeah, the money broke the was. sound barrier. Oh, I know about Yeager. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bethley area. Yeah. But there are a lot of people from here. They There's didn't the have hard from... roads then. They oh, didn't have mud up here. <laughs> well, I, I was like Dumplin' Run Road. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, years ago, we came out through here, and I didn't know I was in the same place, but as a little girl, we came out here, and it was dirt road. All yeah. dirt roads. Well, you were came out here dirt. When I dirt. came out here, all the roads were dirt. There yeah, was yeah. nothing. Because you've been out coming out here for how many years? Yeah. 40? 46 years. 46 yeah. years. Oh, yeah. They'd just been tarred and maybe forty tarred and chipped in eighties. Yeah. And that was yeah. just so that that's when I started Indian Fork. Yeah. And all of them the rest look like little Are horses. they ever gonna pave this and road can, out here? No, I hope not. I wish. And I wish it would. Oh, I don't so. wish they would. Why? Because if they do, well, then awful. people are gonna speed terribly dirty. dirty. Here. Oh uh, what well do you think they'd ever fix the dumpling run road too, all the way down oh, back? No. 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 That road is torture mm -hmm. see we we used to ride horses out there you went up there in a car i did <laughs> now see she we has quest, her we question doing it on a four-wheeler yeah. her her mother had a baby that died mm -hmm. was it six months old seven months old oh no the, the little sour that died no he was only about uh Eight weeks old total. Well, anyway, he's buried up in there. There's an old cemetery up there. Yes, in there is. Yeah. Yes. Her, yeah, her yeah. brother's up there. Yeah. Really? He was stillborn. And her mother. Wait, was he was stillborn? Or no, he, was, he wasn't exactly no, he stillborn, was stillborn, but he died as shortly after birth. He, he, he was not doing too good and, uh, when he was born. But Vivian fell into a right. terrible depression. Oh, well, I think I anybody would, would fall into a terrible I depression. I wouldn't wish war on anybody. Or de or, or Not like it was then. Well, Jungle. World War II was pretty rough. World War II was, was pretty awful. That was bad. My dad was in all four theaters. Really? He was the most, uh, he saw more action. There was a big write-up in the newspaper you saw. Mm -hmm. I did. Where he'd seen more action than any other officer. In, wow. In, this, in anywhere in the northern part of West Virginia. No, but there's some great stories of it from... From that, do you, you are you familiar? You're familiar with Lenore and the Hirschmans and all that, right? Or no? Lenore, my, Lenore, my grandmother yeah, at yeah, all, and bit. her two brothers, Hirschman, Hirschman, one brother. She bro a Hirschman. She was I a Hirschman. Well, when we went. We went to school with Hirschman. The Hirschman. Oh, John Hirschman. Yeah. yeah. He was a veterinarian. I used to stay at their house whenever the roads were so bad I couldn't get through. Right. So there was Ray. That's why Lenore and I were so very close. Really? Kids. Yeah. Yeah. Because Ray Hirschman, he was in a concentration camp. Lenore and Justine and I, we used to sleep together to stay warm. Really? She Not was, Iris? Oh, no, Iris was uh, Iris was one of the... She helped do cooking and Got stuff. It. She, she was, was older. Maker. Yeah, right. she was... But Lenore and Justine and I, well, well, well that's we what were she different.